arrived in James's favorite office, and well, I better be careful here because I don't think he would be very happy with me if I were to break anything in this tent. I've broken another vehicle today, though these things happen. Wear and tear is, of course, very common out here, and I'm not sure what really happened, but I did get home safely. Now, a question that we often have when we are out walking around, like Brent is doing, is what do you keep in your backpack? But I'm going to pose a question to all of you. Now, have a look over here. You can see I've got this big box, which some of you may have seen. Oh, you can't, you can't look because I've sh shown you what could be inside here. Let's close it. With force. Yeah. No. Okay, well, I've broken something else now and there. Now, I have a question for you. What do you think I keep inside this big case? So it's an outdoor case and normally it's for cameras, but I'm not gonna tell you, I take it with me wherever I go when I'm in a vehicle. It's a bit awkward and heavy to carry around. So if you can guess what items I have inside this big black box, you can either hashtag Safari Live or you can send some questions through to, or some answers through to questions at wildearth.tv. But we'll get to that in a minute. We're gonna come across to the microscope and up always, 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 always wanted to use this. I'm so excited this morning. I think I'm gonna break the vehicles more often because I never really get an opportunity to use this beautiful piece of equipment. But you can see inside there, I managed to find, as we were opening up the tent, some form of a grasshopper. But we're gonna try and have a look at it. Hmm, now. How do we get this to work? So I'm just very quickly going to try and fiddle. Now you have to sit still and cooperate, Grasshopper, because this is my first time in the tent. And it would be, there we go. There we go, on the microscope. Now you can have a look. And it's unfortunately covered in a couple of cobwebs, as you can see. I think it was wrapped up inside the tent. And I'm trying to keep it as still as possible. I do apologize. But you can see, isn't it beautiful? They're amazing camouflage. Let me try and sharpen it a little bit more. Go down to its legs. No, the other way. There we go. Look at that. Bits of yellow, black. And you can almost see like it's got little hooks on its back legs. Isn't that incredible? And if any of you have ever picked up a, a big locust before, you actually would have felt them, how sharp they are. And I remember as a young girl one day catching all the insects in the garden, even though my mom told me not to. And I grabbed a, a very gently, of course, I grabbed a locust and it sprung out of my hand. And as it sprung using those powerful back legs to launch itself into the air, one of those little edges caught me and it actually cut my hand. Now, there's something red on it. Can you see that little red thing? I'm gonna try and go closer. No, no, almost. A little bit too far. Sorry, I'm still getting the hang of it. Look, there we go. James is so good at this, and I've got the shakes because I'm so nervous to be in James's office. I can't get it now. Come back here. There we go, almost. I apologize, this is me being absolutely useless with the microscope. There we go. What is that? Can you see that? Is it a mite or something that's on its leg? It's tiny and red. Oh. We've lost him again. Right. There he is. Now, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to come and practice after hours. Right. I am absolutely hopeless at, of course, uh, uh, the microscope, but I will come and practice, but we'll just have a look at him as he crawls over my very dirty hand. Look at how beautiful he is. 